Preparing a Diwali feast is no easy task. Today I have invited my mom, Indra, and her sisters, Auntie Jang and Auntie Aya, to help us in the kitchen. If you have never prepared a feast before, you will certainly pick up some tips and tricks to help you in the kitchen. But if you plan on never making a feast, I still hope you enjoy today's video. Today we'll make almost everything on this leaf, plus polori sahina, and for dessert, or at the end of the meal, we'll make parasad and sweet rice. As you recall, we made the kurma last week. When planning a feast, the very first thing I do is to decide on the menu, which is always subject to change at the very last minute. After taking an inventory of what I have in my pantry and refrigerator, I go shopping. Ingredient and vegetable shopping specifically can be done a week in advance because the vegetables uh, will stay in the refrigerator. Right after work, the day before Diwali, I only have one hour before we pack up and leave for the countryside.
it's after 9 p.m. and we'll do a little more prep work or do as much as we can until we're tired. Mommy suggested we use a combination of the calabaza and the butternut squash to make the pumpkin talcuri. A great tip for pumpkin that I've learned is to cut it into narrow strips to make peeling and dicing much easier. You can easily peel ginger by scraping down the skin with a spoon. While they peel and dice the pumpkin, I'm going to start working on the mango. Before I eat breakfast or do anything else, I want to get some prep work out of the way. So I'm going to rinse and boil the chana, rinse and boil the mango, and grind the ginger. helps to get all the seasoning and spices and lay them out for easy reach. The first thing we'll cook is the mango talcari, also known as mango takari. Well, you have a nice color. But still, put one more here. Yeah. Put one in your yard. Time to put your masala in. Oh. Yeah, it's good now. Okay. I know, see what I'm going to do with the that. And then have the mango ready, eh, Jan? Now we don't need the mango. Mm -hmm. 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 Mm -
Oh, look at that one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this is, this is the finished product order. You can always hire me. Okay. <laughs> you work for food? <laughs> Anything. For free too. Next, we'll make the pumpkin. Mm -hmm. Once the edges of the onion are slightly brown, <laughs> it's time to add the pumpkin and give it a really good stir to coat it with all the seasonings. <laughs> We'll cover and cook until the pumpkin is tender. We'll check it every couple of minutes to make sure that it's not sticking. While that's cooking, we'll dice the potatoes for the chana and aloo, and this could be done ahead as well. That's cooking 40 minutes already. Yeah. What? Look at nice. I stick now together and get it in. Look at it. Okay, I'm going to put it out now, right?
Next, we'll finish it off with some fresh herbs, scallions and thyme. Curried Shatain, also known as Katahar or Bread Nut. Shatain, take one. <laughs> Next, we'll make a paste of the Bandanya curry, garlic, and pepper. These are all the basic ingredients for most of these dishes. Next, I'll do Granny Pepper. Alright, she said that 12 times. And give me water, water. How much cup of water? No, one quarter cup. Quarter cup of water here. Wait, Alright, don't worry, I measure already. That is three quarter cup of water you put. No, that's three? Yeah. What? Mm -hmm. Once the edges of the onion are brown, we'll add the curry mixture and give it a good stir. The water evaporates and baji baji curry is one to three, but you have to get onion seasoning, yeah, for the curry. Yeah, yeah. saffron. We'll stir it well to combine with the curry mixture and then we will cover it and allow it to cook until all that initial water is dried out. Now is a good time to knead the flour for the paratha roti.
Yeah. And I want to put this salt. Yeah. Yeah. No, I need more Two cups again. Give us three more cups, three more cups of water here. Right, put. This is not enough, right? Put another one. Right. Okay, we gotta get this stuff for the um, Baji. Sam is only like one, two. Uh -huh. We're making a feast here, that's why it's going to be challenging. Mm -hmm. oh, Adam likes, she likes it. Oh, what's that? Yeah. Half teaspoon jira. No, no, no. One cup of onion. And cherry peppers. Pepper. Classic garlic, yeah, darling. Classic garlic. How much garlic is there? They have it right now already. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. Alright, that's it. I'll just give a short fire and shut down and have to cook down and make sure it's soft. Okay. So fire and I'm gonna take it time now. You alright? Maya. Sure, sure. Okay, we're gonna go to the Next, we'll add a half block of coconut cream. One tablespoon of salt. Next, we'll knead the flour for the pilori, also known as boulders, that we add to the curry. We'll add all the basic ingredients, garlic, bandania, saffron and salt. And we mix now. Yeah. I'm waiting for the cameraman here. Okay. Let's go, Jane. We have a long way because it's a woman. <laughs>
And when that's done, we'll wrap the dough for the paratha. This is good enough, yeah? Very good. Yeah, this is perfect. Good. Good. You don't have to add water in there. No, I'll use this water when we cover. Just have to go on slow fire. Can you have to go on slow fire? Because we're going to. Finished? Yeah. Now we'll fry the pilori for the curry. The first set came out really dark, but we'll reserve that for Sister Rye. Now we will make the base for the curry with the ground split peas. Here we'll just add water, but the key is to ensure that there are no lumps. You have to take out lumps. teaspoon saffron or turmeric. Is that enough? We need more. I need it a little bit more. Yeah, a little bit more here. Yeah, turmeric right there. Oh, 
always boil up jam. <laughs> exactly. When you're working with people mm -hmm. that they're not agree, mm -hmm. say something nice to them. Yeah. Good job, Jane. <laughs> you do it very well. <laughs> no, I'm not talking about me. I know, I know. Everybody can take criticism. I know. And 
if you love them, it's a very good job, but you know, I think you should do it. <laughs>